Hey, this is Benny Johnson back for another iOS development tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the new additions to Objective C in terms of syntax. And some of this stuff is really cool. It came with Xcode 4.5. I'm really interested in about it because it's going to reduce the amount of code, it's going to make it more readable. Some of the stuff has been borrowed from other pre programming languages, but I altogether will comment. So in this tutorial I'm just going to demonstrate how to use some of these new elements in terms of syntax. We're going to create a table view application that uses a custom object as the model. Uh, so if you're not familiar with any of these elements you probably want to skip this tutorial as I'm going to presume you know that knowledge already. So we're going to start off by creating a single view application and we're going to call it uh, modern OBJC. It's just going to be an iPhone application that uses automatic reference counting and uses storyboards. Now you want to jump over to your main storyboard and you want to delete that initial view controller. Drag a new table view controller, click on the cell and you want to configure it to have a style of subtitle and have an identifier of cell. Next you want to create a class or a controller to actually handle that view controller. So file new file, objective C class, and you want a subclass UI table view controller and call the class master view controller. Go ahead and create that. Now you want to select that class for our actual view controller. Once that's done, you want to create a new, another class for our actual custom model object. We're going to call this uh, student section and we're going to call this NS object. So go ahead and create that. Now we're going to declare some properties. So I'm going to call this non atomic strong and it's going to be read only. And the reason why it's read only is because we only need to read the value outside of the object. We do not need to modify. And this is just basically good programming practice. So it's going to be an NS string and we're going to call this title. So do the same again. Non atomic strong read only. And we're going to call this students. So this is where we're going to pass all the students. Next we want to declare some um, initialization methods. So init with title and we'll pass an ns string as a parameter which we'll call title and we'll also pass in the students we want for that object to hold which is going to be an ns ray object and we're just going to call that students we sort of want to do the same thing for our class method, and class methods are methods that we can actually call in a class without actually having an initialized object, and you've used a lot of these, such as NS array, array with objects, and that's another uh, example of class method. So class methods are just basically used um, to allow us to create initialized objects without the need to actually alloc our objects, it's just done automatically. Uh, it's not necessary but it's nice to have. So we're going to call this student section with title and students. Next I want to copy these properties over because we're going to use similar something similar and we're going to create our interface for our implementation. We're going to call this student section, put the brackets in, paste these properties and we'll finish it off with an ant. Now instead of these being read only, because we want to actually change the values of these properties, we have to make them read right within the actual implementation. These are private properties. Alright, so let's initialize our methods we declared in the header file. So we want int with title, and basically we just set ourselves to super init. So we'll do this in an if statement, so we know that it's successful. So super init and inside that if statement we want to access the backing variables of our properties and apply them to the parameters that have been passed into this method. So students equals students. And we want to return ourselves. 
Next we want to set up our class method which is even simpler. So student section with title and all we have to do is return ourselves alloc and we use our new method we just declared in it with title, passing our title and students we pass in students parameter. And that's it. That's all we need for our custom object. Now I'm going to jump over to our master.m file and we're going to import this new class. Now in the interface I'm going to declare another property and this is just going to be a simple NS array which we'll call a data model to hold all our data. Now in the view to low we're going to initialize some data so let's go ahead and create some NS dictionaries for each student. So I'm going to create a student of Jack. And we're going to use some of the new syntax ejectdc has. So we can create NS dictionaries the old way by going to NS dictionary, dictionary with objects and keys, da 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 da. Or we could do the new way, which is much cooler. We can go at and we can put our key and object within these curly braces. So the first key is going to be name and then we just put colon and the actual objects which is going to be Jack. And we just separate these keys and objects by um, commas. It's quite simple. And we just set this guy to 11. I'm just going to copy this and we'll name this guy Jake and we'll change his age alright let's initialize some girls for our role so call this Amy object and and a Jessica dictionary and that's it, that's all we need now we need to actually create our student section so this is quite easily done, so student section we'll create the boys section which is equal to student section uh, student section with title which we're going to set to our title, what am I thinking boys, and we're going to pass in our new students. Now we could do the old way, uh, NS array, array with objects, or we could do it the cool new syntax way, which is just basically at and square braces for NS arrays, and all we would need to do is pass in jack and comma to separate our objects, jake. That's it. Ended it off with another square bracket and we'll create another student section which will hold all the girls. This is new syntax. Quite simple. Alright, so once we've got our student sections, we need to actually add it to our object. So, data model equals, we'll use the new syntax. So, it's an NS array, and we'll add boys, and we'll add girls. That's simple. Alright, so once we've done that, we need to configure our table view, which is quite easily done. So, self, I hate it when it does that, self dot data model count and for number of rows in sections quite it's a little bit harder but not too hard so we want to create a student section and we'll call this current we'll set it equal to uh, our self dot data model but we'll use some new syntax and this is basically the same as saying uh, self dot data model object at index we just basically put the index within the square brackets and this is common in other programming languages like PHP so then we want to pass in the section that we have been given 
and that's it. And then in the return we put current dot students dot count. Simple as that. Now we need to configure our table view cell. So if not cell, we want to initialize a new cell. So our cell equals UI table view cell alloc init with style UI table view style subtitle reuse identify which is cell identifier. Then we want to configure our cell text. So cell dot text. Actually, before we do this, we need to actually set up some objects. So we want to get the current student section. We'll say current equals um, what we want, which is self dot data model, and we want to pass in our index path dot section. And then we want to get an individual student. We just need an NS dictionary. We'll call this student. And we'll set that equal to our current dot students. And we will make it an index path dot row. So that's basically using that new square bracket uh, to actually get the index object. So then we want to set up our cell, so cell dot text label dot text equals student, and we can use that same square bracket with int and as dictionaries and just pass in a string, and we need our name, so name and cell dot detail text label dot text equals student square brackets h. And it's as simple as that. Alright, so if everything will, went well, it should go ahead and work. And there you go, there's our new table view with our different students and their age. So that's basically a simple tutorial on using some of the new elements in terms of syntax with Objective-C. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys later.